Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for today. Thank you for your children, my brothers and sisters, family of God. I'm asking you, Lord, everything will be possible today. In the life of every brother, in the life of every sister, in the life of every child, virtually everything will be possible in Jesus' name. Lord, roll away their problems. Take away the mountains. Change negative to be positive in Jesus' name. I pray that every deep desire of every child of God here, you will fulfill in Jesus' name. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody said, God bless every brother and every sister. Good morning, everybody. It's such a joy to be with you and to minister to you. We're looking at a message this morning, taking off the limits. Taking off the limits. We're looking at Matthew chapter 17 and verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, Ye shall say to this mountain, Remove hands to yonder place, And it shall remove, And nothing shall be impossible unto you. The Lord wants us to take limits of our lives. The life of the natural man is full of impossibilities. This is to be expected because a man without God is a man without power. Is a man without divine ability. But supernatural acts are virtually impossible for the natural man. He is he that is born of the flesh or be limited by the flesh. But as we are born again children of God, let us remember that he that is born of the spirit is spirit. And our limitations are being removed. And then, as we're yielding to the Holy Spirit every time, you will find that things that appeared impossible in the past, they'll be possible from today. Yeah. And if that is going to be so, I know it's going to be so. There are some deliberate decisions you are going to take. Number one is, cancel the word impossibility from your thoughts. You know, when you look at a problem, and it's beyond human beings, and you say that something like this has never been done. The very first word that comes to your mind in your thought is impossible. As it affects your thought, it then affects your action. If you were looking for solution before, you'll stop looking for solution. Once the word impossible becomes engraved in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, and you are thinking it, it's impossible, it's impossible. You stop looking for solution. Not only that, it will affect your language. You'll begin to speak it out. You think it, you act it, you speak it. Impossible. But since you believe Jesus Christ more than your mind, you know that Christ is greater than your mind. Christ is greater than your thought. Christ is greater than your language that you have spoken before. Jesus said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, what you say will be a reflection of what you believe. If you actually believe in your heart, and you are thinking in your heart, this mountain will move. Then you will say, remove hands to yonder place. <clears throat> what does that mean, remove hands? Get away from my life. Get away from my family. Get away from my husband. Get away from my children. Get away from my wife. And this member of our church, a real child of God, beautiful child of God, this mountain of problem is in her life. And she is not able to take hold of the hand of God by herself. We, the children of God around her, we will command that mountain, get away from her sister's life of our brother's life and what you are thinking while you are praying what you are believing when you are praying what you are speaking out according to the thought and the mind of faith that is what will happen it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you anymore in jesus name 
then in Mark chapter 9 Mark chapter 9 verse 23 Jesus said unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth. if you can only believe all things are possible to him who believes you know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever and tomorrow if you are the problem today suppose you are to see Jesus Christ face to face and say look Jesus look at my problem I'm struggling with this sin it's in the area of my spiritual life it's the area of my family life it's in the area of my business life it's in the area of my desire that I want this I need this in my life and it has not been coming through what will Jesus tell you today the same thing he told that man always think about what Jesus will tell you when you are sick when you are pressed when you are discouraged and when it appears that things are not going the way they ought to go and when you have been you know you have been expecting something will come and you are running towards that thing and eventually the thing has not come that before you think anything before you act anyhow before you speak anything ask yourself if Jesus were to meet me here today face to face what will Jesus tell me Jesus will tell me what he told the man if you can believe all things are possible to him that believeth from this morning if you will cancel that word impossibility from your thoughts from your action and from your words you'll find you'll become a different man you'll become a different woman and mountains will be crumbling before you in Jesus name in Philippians chapter 4 Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me when your thoughts are totally changed now you, you know sometimes especially if you're learning a language when you're given the word in that language the language you don't know and then you're given the word you might appear to understand it in the class but when you come out of the class you go to do some other subjects you're learning this and learning this and learning that by the time you come in the evening and you don't even open that book of that language you will not remember that vocabulary and then for the next day and the next day <clears throat> and the whole week you are not thinking about that language in about four weeks time if uh, you know they asked you are you studying this particular language you say yes and then they say what vocabulary do you know you will forget what you had one month ago because you are not repeating it to yourself you know this faith clinic that we're having and this word is telling us I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me after the faith clinic session this morning if a, a problem appears or something that has been there in your body or your life or your family has been there and then you see it again the very first